Okay guys, today is the day where I'm finally going to meet RF Kuang. Yes, I'm going to Oxford to the Tolkien lecture and RF Kuang is going to be there. And I thought I would take you guys with me on the trip to Oxford in my quest to get all my Poppy War Trilogy books signed. Since I was able to get tickets to the Tolkien lecture, I actually went out and bought all the hardbacks in the Poppy War Trilogy. And these are currently unsigned. How gorgeous are these covers? And as you can see, these books are currently unsigned. So hopefully at the end of the day, I will have met Rebecca Kwong and have all my books signed. All right, let's go. All right, our journey to Oxford is about to start. So we have to take one bus, which takes around 25 minutes, and then one train, which takes a bit more than an hour. And then we'll be in Oxford at around two o'clock. The lecture is at around six o'clock, so we have less of time. So we're actually meeting up with some friends, gonna do some book shopping, hopefully. Oh, it's very dark. Some book shopping, hopefully, and just chill. And then at six o'clock, we're meeting with Rebecca Kwong at the Oxford, which is really exciting. So we're now finally on the train and look how excited we are. We then arrived at the train station. I'm currently reading Temerary, which I probably will have finished when this video goes live. So I just arrived in Oxford and someone just messaged me and said that they were from Oxford and they actually wanted to meet me. <laughs> what? That is, someone wants to meet me. I mean, I've never received any message like that, but that's really cool. So I definitely want to see if we can make that happen to see. I think it's a self-published author that messaged me and said they want to meet me. So yeah, that would be really cool. But yeah, we're in Oxford now. Um, want to do some book shopping, grab some food. The lecture is in four hours. So um, yeah, it's very exciting. We then walked into the city center and stopped for brunch. The restaurant we went into literally had books on the window, which I thought was really cool. I ordered a waffle with fried chicken and a Swiss Russia glaze, while my wife ordered an eggs benedict. It was very delicious. And we then found a water zone, which was huge. Look at all the books. They had a really great selection of fantasy hardbacks and even books with sprayed edges. Here you can see the fantasy and science fiction section, which was quite big. I also love when stores have random signed books, such as this book by Eve Smith. There was also a Tolkien shelf, which is not surprising considering Tolkien literally went to Oxford. And you know I have to show you this beautiful hardback. There was also a hardback of Empire of the Vampire, The Thousand Eyes, and they even had signed editions of Moon, Witch, Spider King, and Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. My wife also bought an ice latte, which was super delicious. We then found an Oxfam book charity shop, which is without a doubt my favorite charity shop. The selection of sci-fi and fantasy book was quite small, but I was able to find this vintage edition of The Fellowship of the Ring, a paperback copy of A Memory Called Empire. I have no idea what happened to that cover. I also found a Ryman Feist book and the absolute book and hardback in near perfect condition. This charity shop also had 5th edition hardbacks of the Lord of the Rings for £70, which was really cool to see, but obviously way too expensive for me. We then went to Blackwell's, which is a bookstore I always love going to since we don't have one near where I live. This Blackwell's had a huge Tolkien selection with lots of different special editions, which was amazing to see. This store is located literally right next to the Oxford University, which is probably why the Tolkien section was so big. I was absolutely mesmerized by all the beautiful books in this store. Just look how many books there are. I always appreciate when a bookstore has lots of hardbacks, and this Blackwell's had a really good selection. This was also the first time I've seen the new Stormlight Archive books in person. Not sure what I think about them to be honest. I also really need to give the Skyward series a try. How beautiful is this? I could literally spend hours in here. And here you see just how big the sci-fi and fantasy selection was. So many books and so many hardbacks. And here you can see some of the incredible architecture in Oxford. This city almost feels a bit like Hogwarts. It is absolutely stunning and I would highly recommend coming down here to visit if you ever get the opportunity. It is a beautiful place with lots of bookshops. We then went and bought ice cream. The ice cream here was all homemade and I had one scoop of mango sorbet and this sorbet literally tasted like biting into a frozen mango. It was incredible. All right, it is 5.30 now, so half an hour until the lecture starts. I'm here with my wife. Are you excited? Yes. We are really excited and man, Oxford is so beautiful. I can't imagine actually going to uni here is absolutely crazy. So yeah, we just left our friends, had some ice cream, going to see Rebecca Kwong now. We then arrived at Pembroke College, which was absolutely stunning. It was so peaceful here and the buildings and the architecture was incredible. I know I've already mentioned this, but I can't imagine what it's like to study at a place like this. Here you can see how excited we are. <laughs> We then finally arrived at the auditorium after walking through this beautiful area and we were finally able to see Rebecca Kwong. She was just sitting there chilling. We actually made it. After an applause, Rebecca Kwong started the lecture. 
Some were crushed by the grief and exhaustion of the reference I think that publishing still has not moved past. This method of interpretation is infantilizing and patronizing. It makes false equivocation. And just like that, the lecture was over. We then got the chance to meet Rebecca in person. Fortunately, my wife suggested going into the queue straight away because the queue became extremely long, but we didn't have to wait that long. It seemed like everyone had so much to say to Rebecca, which I don't blame them. And then just like that, we were next. I'm really sorry, but you literally can't hear anything because it was so loud and my wife turned off the recording quite quickly so that we could have a proper chat with her without shoving a camera into her face. And then afterwards, I got a picture with her. After meeting Rebecca, we looked at the Tolkien exhibition where they had some old letters written by Tolkien and some really old Lord of the Rings edition, which was really cool to see. We have just listened to Rebecca Kwong, yes. my wife and I, um, present a very thought-provoking and challenging lecture and yeah, I mean, Rebecca, she is incredibly smart. And yeah, we were also able to chat with her afterwards, get our book signed, which was really exciting. And there's definitely a lot to process. So yeah, really, really glad about that. So, and now I'm going to meet someone who messaged me on Instagram about wanting to meet me, which is really cool. So yeah, the day is not over yet. All right, we're now at the train station after a very good day. We just met up with uh, Joe. I think that's how his name is pronounced. Um, super friendly guy. He's an aspiring author, and it's just really nice to actually talk to people who know what who John Gwynn is, who Robin Hobb is. So if you guys ever get a chance to meet up with people who are passionate about fantasy, then definitely yeah, take that opportunity. Obviously, do it safely. But um, yeah, we've been at Oxford the whole day meeting Rebecca Kwong. I got all my uh, Poppy War hardbacks signed, which is incredible. And yeah, she was so friendly. So Operation Get the Poppy War Trilogy signed has now been completed. So. One hour, 15 minutes, and we will be back home. But yeah, what a day it has been. All right, we're back in Southampton, and I was able to get all my Poppy War hardbacks signed. I'll show you guys. Look at that, how cool is that? And she signed all three of them. So I now have the Poppy War trilogy in hardbacks and signed, which is honestly mind blowing, but I'm really happy about that. Secondly, Rebecca Kwong's lecture really gave me a lot to think about. Her main point, I believe, of the lecture was really to make an argument that authors shouldn't be afraid to express their beliefs and opinions in fiction. For example, she used Tolkien, and she had lots of different examples, but for, exa for example, Tolkien, he was very clear about the themes and his beliefs about doing something for the greater good and having a strong will and being loyal. I mean, the themes are very, very clear. And similarly, Kuang said that authors today shouldn't be like afraid of being very clear about what they believe today a lot of like people will criticize a book if it's like if the themes are too strong and they'll say like it should be more subtle but her main argument w was that authors really shouldn't be afraid to not being subtle but but just like really expressing their beliefs and opinions so it's really interesting and if you get an opportunity i'm pretty sure it'll be uploaded on YouTube or somewhere, definitely give that a listen because Rebecca Kwan clearly did a lot of research before giving the lecture. Thirdly, I'm even more excited now to actually read Babel because just hearing how much research has gone into that book is really exciting and I'm a huge huge fan of the popular trilogy so I'm sure that this one will be also really really interesting so hopefully I'll get an arc somehow. I'm really hoping to get at least an e-arc. I would love to get a physical proof, but I'm still trying to figure out how to get one. So if I do get an arc early on, I'll definitely review it and post it to my channel quite early. So uh, yeah, I can let you know my thoughts. But yes, Operation Get the Poppy War Hardback signed has been a success. And that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and for following my journey to Oxford where I met Rebecca Kwong. And a special thanks to my Patreons. I'll see you guys in the next video.